Nvidia has just announced a new flagship GPU as part of its 40 series graphics cards, the RTX 4090. Here's everything that you need to know. Using Nvidia's new Ada Lovelace architecture, built on TSMC's 4N process, the 4090 features 16,384 CUDA cores, which is considerably more than the 3090's 10,496. The 4090 also features Nvidia's new third generation ray tracing cores and fourth generation tensor cores, as well as having a higher clock speed than its predecessor. According to Nvidia, the 4090 is supposed to be two to four times faster than the 3090 Ti. The benchmarks do seem to back this up. We can see almost a two times increase in rasterization performance and four times increase in ray tracing performance. However, it is important to note that DLSS was enabled for these and we need to take Nvidia's benchmarks with a grain of salt. The 4090 is supposed to be released on October 12th and the Founders Edition will retail for $15.99 US dollars. Nvidia also announced two 3080 variants, a 60 gigabyte and a 12 gigabyte model. These are supposed to also be two to four times faster than the predecessor. They have an MSRP of $899 and $1199 respectively. They're expected to be released in November with no date given. One point of contention with the two 3080 models is a large difference in spec between them. The 16 gigabyte model features 9,728 CUDA cores compared to the 12 gigabyte with only 7,680, leading many to believe that the 12 gigabyte model was originally going to be the 4070 tiered card with Nvidia changing their minds closer to launch given the current market. During the presentation, Jensen also went into great detail regarding the 40 series new graphical architecture and how it features third generation RTX, which boasts new features including real-time path tracing, as well as third generation of deep learning super sampling. The LSS3 is reportedly capable of generating additional frames and boosting game performance by up to two times. I, for one, am super excited to see these new cards be announced, and I am patiently waiting to see how they stack up in independent reviews. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you can be updated yourself as well.